Herman Charles Bossman. Herman Charles Bossman, February 5, 1905, October 14, 1951, is widely regarded as South Africa's greatest short story writer. He studied the works of Edgar Allan Poe and Mark Twain and developed a style emphasizing the use of satire. His English language works utilize primarily Afrikaner characters and highlight the many contradictions in Afrikaner society during the first half of the 20th century. Bossman was born at Kills River, near Cape Town, to an Afrikaner family. He was raised with English as well as Afrikaans. While Bossman was still young, his family traveled frequently. He spent a short time at Potchefstroom College, which would later become Potchefstroom High School for Boys. He later moved to Johannesburg where he went to school at Jep High School for Boys in Kensington. While there he contributed to the school magazine. When Bossman was 16, he started writing short stories for the National Sunday newspaper, The Sunday Times. He attended the Johannesburg College of Education, which in 2002 was incorporated into the University of the Witwatersrand, and submitted various pieces to student literary competitions. After graduation, Bosman accepted a teaching position in the Groot Marico district in an Afrikaans language school. The area provided the backdrop for his best known short stories, the Um Shock Lawrence series, featuring an older character named Um Shock Lawrence, and the Voor Kamer sketches. Over the school holidays in 1926, Bosman visited his family in Johannesburg. During an argument, he shot and killed his stepbrother. Bosman was sentenced to death for the crime and was sent to death row at the Pretoria Central Prison. His sentence was later reduced to 10 years with hard labor. In 1930, he was released on parole after serving half his sentence. His prison experiences formed the basis for his semi-autobiographical book, Cold Stone Jug. Bosman then started his own printing press company and was part of a literary set in Johannesburg, associating with poets, journalists, and writers, including Agidius Jean Blignot. He toured overseas for nine years, spending most of his time in London. The short stories that he wrote during this period formed the basis for another of his best known books, Mafeking Road. At the start of the Second World War, he returned to South Africa and worked as a journalist. During this time, he translated the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam into Afrikaans. Bosman lamented the fact that Johannesburg neglected its heritage. In the Standard Theatre, he complained that the city's residents, will pull down the standard theater like they have pulled down all the old buildings, theaters, gin palaces, das houses, temples, shops, arcades, cafes and joints that were intimately associated with the mining camp days of Johannesburg. Because I know Johannesburg. And I am satisfied that there is no other city in the world that is so anxious to shake off the memories of its early origins. Bosman's second wife was Ella Manson. The couple were renowned for their bohemian lifestyle and parties which featured witty conversation and usually ended well after midnight. From 1948 to his death in 1951, Bosman was employed as proof editor at the Sunday Express. In addition, he was contracted to write a weekly Voor Kamer story for the Forum magazine. His last wife was Helena Lake, née Stegman. After a housewarming party in October 1951, Bosman experienced severe chest pains and was taken to Eden Vale Hospital. On admission, he was asked for his birthplace. He replied, Born Kills Rivier, died Eden Vale Hospital. He was discharged and collapsed at home a few hours later. Bosman died as he was being rushed to hospital. He is buried in West Park Cemetery in West Dean under a triangular headstone that reads Die Scriver, the writer, Herman Charles Bosman, v. March 2, 1905, d. October 14, 1951. After his death, the rights to his works were auctioned. They were purchased by his last wife, Helena, and upon her death, the rights were passed to her son, who retains them. In 1960, however, Helena sold some of his documents and 123 of his watercolors and pencil sketches to the Harry Ransom Center in Texas. Only three of his books were published during his lifetime, Mafeking Road published by Dassey, and Jacaranda in the Night and Cold Stone Jug published by APB. Mafeking Road has never been out of print since its publication in 1947. His biography was written several times by Valerie Rosenberg. Her first effort was called Sunflower to the Sun, followed by Herman Charles Bosman, a pictorial biography, and most recently by Herman Charles Bosman, Between the Lines. The last of these contains much new research and deals in detail with aspects of Bosman's life and parentage that were previously considered taboo.
Because many of his stories were originally published in long-forgotten magazines and journals, there are a number of anthologies by different collators each containing a different selection. His original books have also been published many times by different publishers. The Herman Charles Bossman Literary Society meets annually for readings, performances and discussions of his works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.